August 18, 1987, after 25 years of dedicated service, the 308th Strategic Missile Wing, Little Rock Air Force Base, Arkansas, was inactivated. Deactivation of the Titan II weapon system began at Little Rock April 24, 1985, when the 308th was charged to deactivate its fleet of Titan II missiles in compliance with President Ronald Reagan's Strategic Modernization Program. The last 24-hour alert was pulled at Complex 37308 on May 5, 1987. Crew EO-83 attended a pre-departure briefing at 0700 hours before departing for the missile site. Their tasks for the alert included running a final missile verification, a final launch verification, and shutting down the missile's guidance system. The missile verification is an automatic sequence that verifies component functions, while the launch verification is a semi-automatic sequence that exercises the weapon system. Shutdown of the inertial guidance system was the final step in taking the last Titan sortie off alert. The next day, when crew EO-83 returned from their final 24-hour alert, they were greeted with a celebratory washdown. Complex 37308, located a mile north of Judsonia, Arkansas, was the final missile site to be deactivated. One of the first major steps in deactivating the site was removal of the reentry vehicle. The first step of RV removal was to open the silo closure door. Guardrails were then installed. The RV was raised and moved to a transport trailer where it was covered with a protective cover and taken to a storage area. The Titan II airframe was a two-stage aerodynamically stable structure that housed and protected the airborne missile equipment during powered flight. After downloading the liquid propellants, the Stage II airframe was removed. Finally, the Stage 1 airframe was pulled from the silo, leaving a hole 146 feet deep. The missiles will be shipped by rail to Norton Air Force Base, California, where they will be held in storage until they are needed for use in the Space Satellite Program. On July 16, 1987, the day Complex 38 was turned over to the 314th Civil Engineering Squadron, a final inspection of each silo and control center level was accomplished. The 308th also presented a commemorative complex key to the CE commander. Each missile silo will be destroyed by the Army Corps of Engineers. The rubble will be pushed back into the ground and the land will be returned as closely as possible to its original condition. The 308 SMW presented a Titan II static display to Little Rock Air Force Base in a dedication ceremony on Monday, August 17, 1987. An inactivation banquet honoring the men and women of the 308 was held Monday evening at the Camelot Hotel, Little Rock, Arkansas. General John T. Chain, Junior Commander-in-Chief, Strategic Air Command was the guest speaker. The 308's final act was an inactivation parade and ceremony held August 18, 1987.
The 308th Strategic Missile Wing's colors were retired to the Air Force Museum at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio, until the wing is reactivated at a future time.